white fuckers and fuckheads. Now, uh, something I noticed last night, I'm running one of these Evolution aquarium lights, and it's just a 200 watt version. Um, and of course, you know, I've got the castle, I've got, uh, this is just a 2x generic strip of um, 14k LEDs. None of the whites are on right now, it's just on the blues. I mean, it makes my fucking corals look awesome. And the lights just came on, so not everybody's swolled out and puffy right now. But, you know, they're half ass out for right now. And I got about bunch of hermit crabs in here. The algae in this tank is intentional, by the way. But something I noticed, uh, I converted this to 400 cycle. I've converted all my lights to 400 cycles instead of 60 cycles, and I'm just using an aircraft power inverter to accomplish that, and I did have to modify the board in this one. That's why the seals are broken. Um, had to modify the board in this one. Had to modify the fucking Kessel. Um, but, uh, and Minor mods. Minor mods are all they are. Um, and this one I actually thought I killed, and it turned out um, where I had resoldered the board, the power supply, I just had a burn connection, so I fixed that last night. Um, but uh, anyway, I've noticed a lot of y'all that are. Um, doing this grow house thing or bitching about these smart electric power meters something that uh, you could do would be something similar to what I've done just take a 400, 400 cycle phase inverter you can get them from air, any aircraft supply and uh, cops won't know what you're running they'll think you're running an electric motor unless you get one of the solid state ones I haven't tried that um, but anyway, back on the subject at hand. Nice little A cans there. I mean, the change when I put this light on yesterday, the change in these was almost immediate. Those guys back there, that Fabia, um, he was hardly ever coming out under the old light. The old light was uh, Eclipse with um, some of those Echozotic um, stunner strips. Um, I just retrofitted the fixture with a whole bunch of LEDs. Um, and, oh, another thing I should note, when I modified the board in here to where it would take 400 cycles, um, and when I've done it with any of these LEDs, you seem to get cleaner light. Um, stays pretty close to the same color temperature, but your PAR and your PER values go up. I don't know what that means to the plant grower guys, but... Uh, I know to corals um, and aquatic plants it is a wonderful thing because these entire branches shot out in one day. Um, and like I say, the whites aren't even on right now. And I'm, to get this much blue light, um, I would have to have about a about a thousand watt halide in the actinic spectrum, you know, which would be beyond twenty thousand K. Um, and when they are on, um, this little 200 watt light is very comparable to a 1000 watt metal halide, but it won't burn your corals. Um, and it definitely wakes them up. I mean, I'm going to play for a few days and see, you know, how, I mean, this whole experiment I'm seeing, that's why I'm buying all these injured corals, is because I want to see, you know, like this one I picked up yesterday, it was only 10 bucks. I want to see the, you know, if changing the pulse rate of the LEDs um, actually helps. And so far, I've had them up at as much as 1,600 cycles, and 400 cycles seems to be a nice universal setup, and it's a lot cleaner light. But, uh, and this guy's recovering nicely. He had a completely dead branch there. He's got another one coming out. And, you know, that's over the past few weeks. It's been on that homemade LED Eclipse retrofit experiment of mine. Um, but, uh... I 
I love that Nexia. I don't know why. I'll try and get a video up of when everything's out, when the main white lights are on, but uh, I'm loving the shit out of this one because yesterday my pulsing zinnias wouldn't even come out until the white lights came on. And now they're out way over here on the other side of the tank. Um, and for those of you who are wondering, am I going to start Gulf Coast Crustacean Research back up? No, my current experiment, I'm still studying microcrustaceans. I've always been a nerd, I always will be. Um, but my current experiment is more seeing um, if the pulse rates um, hitting these LED lights, you know, what's kind of a universal, what will heal what corals or what will make what corals fast grow, whether they're soft or hard. Um, and I do have a second and third tank in the background that you guys will never see that I'm experimenting in. Um, and they get the same water as this one. So, I mean, there's no complaints there. As far as, uh, oh shit, I've got too much intensity in one tank. Yeah, I haven't figured out a way to work around that yet. Um, but you got to consider, this is on a redneck's fucking budget. My income's $42,000 a year, and by the time I pay property taxes, 68.4% of my income is gone right fucking there. That's just property taxes and regular income taxes. So, that gives you an idea. I don't live on a whole lot of money. Um, but, uh, and these yellow polyps, I love it, they go green when the blue lights are on. <laughs> uh, and I've literally bought entire clumps of these star polyps. I've got some back there. Let's see if I can get the camera down. There's too much reflective light. Oh, yeah, there they are. That was a clump of blue mass that the guy at the pet store literally just gave me because um, he had seen no growth out of them. And I personally believe, because his lights are a lot better than my redneck ass shit, um, I personally believe that. Um, changing the pulse rate of the power feeding to the LEDs is what has saved those. Anyway, I just figured I'd show you all the progress on this system. Um, it's kind of more of a personal record than for you all, but it's some cool shit to look at, I guess. Um, so we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckettes later. Oh, and uh, this here... Um, I was getting really fine air bubbles. I don't mind these bigger ones. I'm going to eliminate those. I'm just going to extend that down a little bit more to where they can't come through, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, because my sand filter doesn't do so good, that's just got some natural filter media in there. I took a uh, pickup tube, like what's on the bottom of that, and shoved it into that wedge. It's an Eclipse 2 hood. The pump's from an Eclipse 3 and I've got my little bio wheel going in there. And when I feed or supplement my tank, this is where I do it through. So everything works out good. Um, and somewhere along the line I'm going to use this other chamber for a brine shrimp patchery, but I haven't quite rigged it up yet. I don't need a refugium. Right? The water's coming from the intercoastal, so you know, I've got a couple of tanks where I'm actually cycling water. But anyway, I just figured I'd show that off. The um, I'm really impressed with this Evolution light. I saw it in the pet store lit up before I even bought it. Um, and he said it was doing his big rock tank um, perfectly, so. Um, and I believe him. I mean, just the overnight improvement I saw in mine. These A-cans wouldn't even hardly come out 
before the white lights came on before and they were the, this morning I came out here and they were out before the blues even came on all right we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckheads later